Hey everyone, so apparently everyone is going fucking crazy because this woman named Kristen Putz or whatever her name is, she is part of the LGBT community and she posted a video that went viral on TikTok where she was mocking the American flag saying she took it down because it made her uncomfortable. So she said that her and her students pledge allegiance to the pride flag. And before everyone has a hissy fit and everyone acts like a fucking lunatic, um, I think it's kind of hilarious and ironic that the same people who talk about, oh, well, we don't believe in cancel culture and, and these Trumpers and these, like, religious nut jobs always talk so much shit about, you know, all these things and talk about cancel culture and whatever, and then now they want to cancel her and... You know, they're saying all this, like, horrible stuff because she's, you know, gay or whatever. And it's just, it's fucking stupid. It's like, I mean, yes, it was immature what she did, but isn't there worse things that she could have done? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think it was childish. Yes, I think it was stupid. But all these, like, freaking war veterans are all having a hissy fit. They're, and then people are like, people died under that flag. No, they did not. And I don't know why, and that's the thing, this is a cult. They think of it like it's a fucking church, like it's a religion. It's a fucking flag. I mean, I'm sorry to tell you this, but flag desecration is protected under the First Amendment. There is no law that says that you can't deface American flag. I think it's funny too, because these Trumpers are the same fuckers that wear the American flag as a cape. Or they wear it as a fucking thing on their shirt. It's such self-pride, man. Like, it's such fake pride. Like, if you actually look up flag code, but because, you know, the American, the First Amendment trumps it, literally. Um, in flag code, you technically cannot use the American flag as any form of uh clothing whatsoever you can't even let the flag touch the ground it has to be um folded in a certain way i mean if you look up flag code that's what it is and for people to make like these things like oh my god this is the american flag worship it it's like a fucking religion to these people it's a fucking flag man get over it like these people are annoying it's like look I agree. What she did was stupid. It was immature. I think it was one of the dumbest things she's ever done. But it's like, isn't there way worse things right now? Like, this is what's funny to me. Like, they had no problem. Like, Republicans had no fucking problem going to a pointless war in Afghanistan uh, for 20 years, wasting over $2 trillion. Tens of thousands of soldiers are dead. More than 50,000 Afghani people are dead from this war. Uh, innocent casualties. I mean, there's videos that the military was covering up videos and killing innocent people. They were laughing and mocking. And these were news reporters that were covering the war and they killed them. And there was a child in the van. And they were calling them all kinds of racist terms. So, yeah. <laughs> You're saying that they protect our freedoms? You're a fucking moron if you believe that. You are. And this, and these, and the TikTok page libs of TikTok, you just sound like a little pissant who has nothing better to do. I just think it's funny to me that Republicans get mad over the wrong issues. Wouldn't you be more mad that soldiers are being used as pawns to a pointless war that took over 20 years and did nothing? And Bush and all these uh, Secretary of Defense made all these false promises and everything. And they didn't know what the fuck they were doing or what they were getting into. And now Bush was, you know, and then Trump said, okay, we're going to get him out of, the, out of Afghanistan. And he did nothing. Biden did. And he did a terrible job. And more people are dying. 13 soldiers died from a suicide bombing. And um, lots of Afghan people are dying. And it's just sad. And, and I'm, I'm like, I'm just so annoyed by that. Like, why do people get mad over the dumbest things? Like what someone said or what someone did. Like, who the fuck cares? She didn't literally hurt somebody. She didn't 
She made a stupid video and acted like a child. Move the fuck on. Maybe she should be fired. I don't know. Or maybe talk to or whatever. But I just think it's funny how Republicans always talk about cancel culture until it doesn't align with their own views. So, yeah, Republicans suck. <laughs> That's why I don't like Republicans. They, they get mad over the dumbest issues. Like, California is literally on fire. Climate change is running rampant because corporations are constantly putting this toxic stuff into the air. You have COVID running rampant. You have homelessness. You have children that are dying every day of starvation. But you're mad over a lesbian woman because you disrespect the American flag grow up <laughs> trumpers oh my god it's just I, it's just ridiculous i mean look she does seem a little wacky i'll admit it that that uh woman does seem a little wacky um and i thought it was a stupid thing that she did i mean if she didn't do this it wouldn't have <laughs> gone out like that but it's like I just think people need to get mad over the real issues. Like, I get more upset hearing about children. I mean, like that video in Afghanistan, watching those children cry and, and you know, there's, you know, all those bombings and starvation and homelessness. That's the stuff that upsets me more. You need to have compassion for other people. Who the fuck cares, like, what a comedian says? You know what I mean? It's just funny to me how people do that they go oh cancel culture or, oh my god this is what he said 10 years ago and then they cancel him and it's just it's just a like when did this whole country be a bunch of wimps that's what it is you're all a bunch of wimps it's ridiculous i mean there's nothing wrong with her being a lesbian whatsoever there isn't i don't care if she is i don't care if she isn't i don't care but the thing is, people getting mad because she's disrespecting the flag. She has every right to disrespect the flag. She has every right to. It's her choice. It's her freedom. Rather you like it or not. That's why I'm an atheist too, because I do believe in freedom. I believe that we have the right to flip off a cop. We have the right to burn an American flag. I know that sounds horrible to you, but that's under the Constitution. Read it, motherfucker. <laughs> that's that's what it is. There is no law that says you cannot give the finger to a police officer or any authority figure. That's protected under the First Amendment. And the reason why I bring this up is because the ACLU has fought hard for everyone, even Nazis. Because here's the thing. Hate speech is still free speech. You can't go to jail for saying, I hate a particular group of people, or I hate this country, or I hate chicken wings, or <laughs> whatever it is. That is still part of the First Amendment, so you have to deal with it. And I think it's funny when they say, oh, well, she doesn't like it here. We can make her live in Afghanistan and see how she likes it. You guys are totally missing the fucking point of the United States. She has every right to be here just like I do. And you know what? If she wants to talk shit about the United States, she can. I talk shit about the United States all the time. Like, we don't even have basic fucking health care like the majority of the goddamn world. You can go to Canada, you can go to Sweden, you can go to Denmark, you can go to even Costa Rica, and they have socialized health care. We don't even fucking have that here. And we call ourselves like a developed country. Really? It's very undeveloped. Like, wouldn't people care more about the homeless crisis? Like, why don't Republicans give a fuck about the homeless crisis? Why don't Republicans give a fuck about injustice for people or whatever? They're the same fucking idiots who will stand out there going, you can't tell me what to wear, like, telling the government, oh, you can't tell me to wear a mask, you can't tell me to be vaccinated. But they have no problem spreading that shit to other people and canceling a teacher in a classroom. The biggest fucking imbeciles and hypocrites are Republicans. And look, I'm not like standing up for that teacher. I think what she did was stupid. I think it was horrible. I think she should be held accountable for what she did. 
because it's stupid. It's a dumb thing that she did. And to teach children to be disrespectful, I don't care what it is, is fucked up. I don't care what it is. It's being disrespectful and teaching children, you know, to be disrespectful regardless of what it is. I don't care if it was a Muslim flag. I don't care if it was a fucking pride flag or, or whatever the fuck. It, I, you know, well, Muslim flag, I shouldn't say that because that's, you know, religion. Fuck religion. But, I mean, if she put, like, an atheist flag, for example. If it was an atheist flag or a pride flag or whatever the fuck. Um, or a science flag or, 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 you know, a flag of a cheesecake or whatever. It's still weird that you would do that. It doesn't make any sense. Like... That's just so weird to me. Like, fuck, like, I'm a Charger fan, but I wouldn't be like, if I was a teacher, let's just do this analogy and see if you can fucking understand through your thick Republic fucking head skull. Um, for example, let's say if I was a teacher and I had a an American flag and I did the same thing she did, but I wanted then to pledge allegiance to the Los Angeles Chargers. Do you think it would have gone down as bad because she's a woman and has a pride flag? Just think of that for a moment. Like, I'm pretty sure the hatred is because she is a woman and she is part of the LGBT community. And I think there's still a deep hatred for that. I don't think, I think if I did the opposite, I think if I did do a charger flag and I did the exact same thing she did I don't think I would get as much of attention as she did other people would be like oh man right on the chargers man that's funny I guarantee it wouldn't be as bad so anyway I just want to say that you know what I, I don't really care like I mean yeah she should be held accountable but this whole thing is fucking stupid fuck republicans